fight fires in the rural parts of Robertson County, and they do it all without getting paid. But after the Black Jack Volunteer Fire Department's old brush truck bit the dust, they're now looking forward to saving lives and property with a new state-of-the-art truck. KX H News reporter Ian Smith shows us why this truck in particular is so special. For volunteer firefighters at the Black Jack Fire Department, their old 1981 Dodge brush truck just wasn't cutting it. The wear, the tear, being off-road, getting beat up, the rust was taking its place, and it just got to the point where we couldn't repair it anymore. So the 35-year-old truck was sold, now just a memory, but something else took its place. A new $117,000 brush truck. One of only three like it in the state. Designed to go off road, get in the places that are difficult to go. Uh, it has the capabilities and pump capacity that, if needed on a structure fire or a car fire or something, and it was close by, we could use that truck to do that as well. I was thrilled. Uh, we've been needing it for a long time. There was numerous times we'd have mutual aid calls with the surrounding department, even Brazos County. Um, we couldn't send a truck. The truck can hold 300 gallons of water, uh, weighs 12,000 pounds, and carries the latest equipment. Now, this fire truck has a cool new feature called a jump seat. This is actually a race car seat mounted to the fire truck, and it has safety features like a seat belt and even a roll cage, so firefighters are protected when things get rough. Something were to happen if the truck were to turn over, it protects you from limbs, any type of debris or something like that. The Robertson County Emergency Service District, along with donations from the community, helped pay for the new truck. The support in the community is great. We can't say enough about them. In Robertson County, Ian Smith, KX HD News. The Blackjack firefighters say the new truck hasn't been to any fires yet, but they are looking forward to many years with it. They also want to remind people that grass is dormant and dry this winter, and it can easily catch fire. Congratulations.